Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today I'm actually going to show you guys how to set up your Chromecast. Yeah, now I don't have a HD TV in in my premise because I'm actually at work, uh, so I do have a HD projector. How awesome is that? And uh, we're going to show you how how to set this up now. This Chromecast device right here was actually my IT manager, so he let me hold it so I could do this nice review uh, for you guys that I did not too long ago, and as well as how to show you guys how to set it up. So he was real nice too. Two thumbs up for my IT manager. So uh, I got my the charger, the adapter, and got the USB cable. Uh, the HDMI will actually go inside your uh, HDTV. And then this bad boy needs to be powered on. So if your HD TV actually has a USB port, you can actually plug it in, power, HDMI, good to go. But if you don't have uh, a USB port on your HD, HD TV, which I'm hoping you guys do, uh, it does come with an adapter. Uh, so I'm going to plug this bad boy up over here. And once it's plugged up, you guys can't really see, but it's lighting up. It's actually a white light. And I'm going to plug it into the HDMI. So as you can see in the screen, it's actually connecting and it's saying reconnect me. And the only reason that it's saying reconnect me is because it's part, it's, the device was already configured on a different network. And because it's not around the network that it was configured, I need to reconfigure it. So I'm going to show you guys how to reconfigure it. How awesome is that? So now that we plugged in the device into a HDMI port, it's time to uh, set it up. Now to set it up, what you want to do is go to google.com forward slash chromecast forward slash setup and it's going to take you to this web page. Now I'm running it on an iPhone 4S so it's going to take you to here and you want to do is click on uh, available to app store. It's going to take you automatically and it's going to open up the app store for you. What you're going to do is download it, put your Apple ID, password and that's it. You're good to go. So what I'm going to do, I already have it downloaded. It's right here on my little desktop and it's the privacy in terms so I'm going to accept it and see what's going to happen uh, right now your iPhone needs to be on the same network as your uh, Chromecast okay so when you guys get to this point you guys want to do is set up a new Chromecast it's basically indicating that go to the iPhone Wi-Fi settings and select your new Chromecast look for the same device name you see on your TV screen so let's uh, let's go into my settings let's go into Wi-Fi and does my Chrome that's the generic name that it gives it it looks like it's connecting to it hopefully it goes through with no problem it's successfully connected so let's go back into our Chromecast we found a new device awesome we're going to select the network for your Chromecast and give it a unique name let's hit next and change the input of your TV which is already changed until you see a set up screen with the code of K3K3 awesome I see okay I do see that we're gonna hit next uh, pick a name to identify your Chromecast. I'm going to leave it as my Chrome. And we're going to hit next. And select the network for my Chrome. Let's choose a Wi Fi. I am going to choose a Wi Fi for that. And I'm going to enter the password. Once you enter your password, just hit the setup. And it's basically setting up my Chrome. It's trying to connect to the wireless connection and if everything works well I should be able to connect as you can see on the screen is actually connecting to the network of JCCA which is actually the Wi-Fi and that's pretty cool because it's already connected it's ready to cast how awesome is that so let's cast something out I'm actually good I already have Netflix on this device so let's go into YouTube let's go to YouTube and see if I could cast something in YouTube now, if you guys are frequently users in YouTube app and you got your Chrome key activated, at the very top where the search bar is normally is at, you will see a new key feature. That key feature will allow you to display something. So I'm going to display something in my channel. So let's go to BJ. 
tech news and let's pick something I don't know let's uh, let's pick this out just pick anything let that load up and let's say my 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 chrome I want this to be displayed in my chrome and let's hit play it's playing on my chrome it's taking a while for it to display but uh, come on Guys, this is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today is exciting. I'm so excited because my BJ Tech News Windows 8 app. So as you can see, guys, it's played. It's uh, I hear the audio coming out of my projector, and everything is working the way it's supposed to work. I'm pretty excited about the Chromecast uh, feature. So it looks like everything is working. Uh, I actually set up my Chrome app to work with the Chromecast. Everything is working with no problem. I'm going to leave all the links that you guys need at the bottom of the description so you can go check it out. Um, but it was a success. Everything is working with no problem. I was able to project uh, an actual YouTube video from my iPhone to the Chromecast with no problem. So that's pretty awesome I'm pretty excited about that hopefully you guys enjoyed this how to set up your Chromecast device with your iPhone device I know it's it's probably the same approach with Android devices as well as tablets and iPads so that's pretty cool hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any comments or concerns leave them at the comment section and uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys later